Okay, with the uh, single and double wires now installed, we're going to go to the next step, which is the battery pack. So I've got the parts here laid out. Um, these are pretty much all you're going to need for this step. And that is the battery mount here, three zip ties, a, uh, a little sticky rubber pad, and the battery itself. So some things to know about the battery. Uh, the battery mount, so there's two parts to it. There's the flexor side, which have these two little flexor pieces you can see, and the, um, I guess the tab side. So the battery actually inserts from the tab side towards the flexor side. And the important thing is that you hear a snap when it's installed. And if you don't hear that snap, it's not installed properly, so pay attention for it. And then to release it, you actually need to shift the battery forward, and then squeeze the tab. That will allow it to be released, then you just slide it right back out. Okay, so with that uh, shown, we're gonna start with the first step, which is we're just gonna stick the little mount pad on the bottom of the battery mount. Just like so. And then we're gonna insert two of the zip ties. So take two zip ties, the, the direction really isn't important, and we're just gonna go through both of the mounting slots. There's one and two. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to set this on onto the side and show you the next part, which is the cable management. So here we have the wires from the rings. We have a W wire and a single wire. So um, there's only one length for this wire, but there's multiple sizes of hubs. The important part here is to make sure that um, when it is attached, that it's properly tensioned. Um, sometimes that means you'll have to coil it around a spoke in order to get the proper tension, something like this. Um, incidentally, this uh, hub is actually rather narrow, so I don't have to coil it at all. And what I'm going to do is just zip tie it directly to the hub itself. So pull the hub, pull the W wire out of the spoke cage and grab your battery mount. And these two zip ties just slide right through the mounting points on the hub. This allows it to be secured and insert it back into the spoke cage. And then we're going to just simply zip tie it down. So just get each zip tie started. And number two. Great, so once that's done, I'm actually gonna zip it all the way tight. One and two. Okay, with that, tight, uh, we actually now want to rotate the battery mount to be on the opposite side of the W wire cable. So give it nice and tensioned over there and just kind of straighten everything out. Um, so you can see there's still a little bit of slack in this W wire, which is totally normal. Um, the next part you want to do is wrap the single wire around it and that will help take up some of that slack. So. Um, get it nice and tensioned, um, get some of that slack out. One more time, I think. Okay, so that's looking pretty good there. And when you make the connection, it's important to pay attention to the arrows which are on the outside there. You can see one of the arrows there. And I'll find the same corresponding arrow on the battery pack. And there's your connection. So there's the connection between the W and single wire. Um, one last little bit to secure the battery mount. So you can see on the battery mount there's four small loops which are on the side. So there's one, two, three, four. Um, we're just going to secure one of those to a corresponding spoke so that when you're inserting the battery, pushing the power button, that the battery mount doesn't shift. So since the battery comes in this way and the power button is here, it's going to want to rotate this direction. So I'm going to anchor it on the back to prevent that. Um, the best way is find a corresponding spoke. The spoke looks good and I'm going to be attaching to that one. You want to insert the zip ties so that the head is down um, and then you're going to bring the tail around and only loop around the corresponding spoke. Um, find the zip tie head and uh, go ahead and get it started in there. Okay, so once it starts to click, go ahead and pull it tight.
You want to try to keep the head inside the spoke cage just because um, that way it won't ever interfere with the rotation of the wheel. And once that's relatively good and tight, let's see how to do it. Uh, then you're good to go. And just give it a double check to make sure that the battery actually inserts and makes that connecting click. And you're ready to make the connection between the two. Uh, so on this step, just bring the cables around. You should be able to make the connection. Look for the, the bands on the outside of that cable and close it off. Okay, so uh, real quick before powering it up, I'm just going to trim up some of these cables. Um, simple little uh, snip of the zip ties. And then the other two here. Okay, with those trimmed, uh, let's give it a shot. So hit the power button and the lights facing forward should turn on. And then as you rotate slowly, it'll use the accelerometer and keep the lights facing the right direction. Awesome, so we got this wheel fully assembled. Now let's put it on a bike.